Leonard Bernstein wrote a long poem about his sabbatical year. At the time, he was music director of the New York Philharmonic, the biggest cheese in American music. But he took a year off to write a musical, which flopped. And then he thought, well, I must write something. And he explored all the worlds of avant-garde and minimalist music and John Cage. Uh, but in the end, he, ended, he, he finished up writing these psalms. I, uh, I, I, I copied out the poem so I can read it to you. These psalms are a simple and modest affair, tonal and tuneful and somewhat square, certain to sicken a stout John Cager with its tonics and its triads in E-flat major. But there it stands, the result of my pondering, two long months of avant-garde wandering, my youngest child, old-fashioned and sweet, and he stands on his own two feet, Chichester's arms, as described by its composer. Just want to add that when I was in Chichester back in July 1965, I actually sat next to Leonard Bernstein, and uh, after the rehearsal he came across to his wife and he said, all we can do now is pray. <laughs> I thought that was odd, but it, what it turned out was that the choirs had learned their piece wonderfully, even though it's in Hebrew, it's a difficult thing, but they'd learned. But the orchestra turned up on the day. Well, this is what he wrote to his secretary the next day. The Psalms went off well, in spite of a shockingly small amount of rehearsal. The choirs were delightful, they had everything off pat, but the orchestra was swimming in the open sea. They simply didn't know it, but somehow the glorious acoustics of Chichester Cathedral cushion everything so that even mistakes sound pretty. Good old Leonard Bernstein, and good luck for this wonderful Bernstein Festival in Chichester.